G'day, how you going? It's the Dan on the Gamer here. Welcome back for some Marble World Racing. It's race number one for the Crash GP. No Team Bandicoot for season one. They could not qualify, so we'll have to wait for season two to see them. But we are here today at Fossil Canyon from the Diddy Kong Racing series. And that will be our track for race number one. We'll go over to the track now and get ready to go racing for Crash GP. and going race one for Crash GP here at Fossil Canyon from Diddy Kong Racing Series. Now this track's a bit hard to keep track with the camera so we might have to zoom in a little. One of the rare tracks where it's a lot of tight areas so we can't really fully zoom out the way we usually would. So it's crunk in the lead, it goes through the water. And engine following behind. Norm teammate back there makes the move. Moves up into second place. Crunk having some trouble. That puts Norm into the lead. Engine close in there as well. So engine will move ahead. Norm right behind and then Crunk not too far away either. Engine going right through the water there. A very quick run. Now Zam has entered into second. Norm there in third. Further back Crunk and Pasadena then Dingadal who's just dropped down a few spots. And is trying to recover. Now he's back up to fifth again. So a bit of battling going on there. So engine through the water. Not always the quickest way. Zam right up there. Runs up into the back of engine. Looks like Zam's going to make the move. And takes the lead inside the tunnel. So through this little section here. You've got the boost pads. The little traps that slow your rivals down and there's also the red balloons which send off some bombs to slow down their rivals or potentially speed them up depending on how the explosion goes. Suzam so still with that lead engine. There's that bomb that we spoke of. There's Entrance. Looks like he's gotten stuck going the wrong direction and has come to a complete stop by the looks of it. So back in second place there's Engine, further back Norm and Polar fighting there for third. Sam still leading with a comfortable gap. Engine under some fire. Bomb slowing Norm down a little bit there so Zam has a good lead out in the front. Looks like Entrance has gotten going again because he's no longer stuck there. Zam has caught up to lap traffic. Polar in second. Currently 6.8 seconds is the gap, so Zam with a huge margin here. Polar going through the water. It can be quicker, but that's only if you can get the right angle, get that boost pad. So Polar has Norm closing in. Norm making some ground there. Hits the boost pad, moves up into second briefly. Von Clutch, so we're starting to come up to some lap traffic for our racers here. Four seconds, so the gap has dropped a little bit. There's three laps to go. Zam still out in front, though. D Polar had a bit of trouble there. Didn't really know which way he wanted to go, so he just ran straight into the wall. So now he's down a bit. Engine and Norm getting a good boost there from the bomb. Polar hits that boost pad to try and stay ahead. Meanwhile, Zam... The gap is currently two and a half, so it's come down again. So Polar is gaining time. We have two laps to go. Can Polar do anything? Well, not like that, he can't. So that bomb 
slowing Polar down, puts Engine back into it. In fact, there is Zam, our race leader. So the gap has come down to nothing. Zam having a little bit of trouble getting out there. Onto the final lap now. We'll stay on board with the race leader. 3.7 seconds back to Polar in second. Then we've got Norm, Engine, and Pasadena for our top five. Zam losing a bit of time in the water there. We'll see if he... He's got a pretty good lead. Just a bunch of lap traffic around, so no real threats. The next closest rival is... Oh no! Zam has a massive issue. He's fallen the wrong way, and now he's running into traffic. Norm will take the lead right at the finish and get the win. Pasadena in second. Zam drops to third. Then it's Polar and Nash. Engine on board now with Krunk. Making his way through here. Krunk in seventh. Then we've got Geary. Komodo Joe. And it looks like Papu Papu will round out the top ten. So you watch the rest of the field come across the line here. Penta Penguin just ahead. There's Zem. Of course, we also got Entrance, who is at least a lap or two behind. He got stuck on the track. So he might not be out here to the finish. Oh, Oxide having some trouble there at the finish line. And Von Clutch has gone stuck, but luckily someone has knocked him going again, but he's having a bit of trouble getting forwards. Once a marble crosses the line, they've got 30 seconds for the next marble to try and make it, otherwise the race is declared. So, ooh, I think Von Clutch might not have made that. Anyway, it's Norm who gets the win. Six tenths over Pasadena, and then Zam, who was looking good for most of the race, has that trouble right near the finish line and drops the third. So Polar, Nash, Engine, Krunk, Geary, Komodo Joe, and Papu Papu round out our top ten there. So down the bottom, it looks like everyone did finish. So Von Clutch was actually in last, so it looks like he had some trouble towards the end. A whole minute between first all the way to last there. Of course, Entrance and Von Clutch both getting stuck on the track around the same spot. So we go check the points now after race one and see how it's all looking. So before we go to the scores, here's today's winners for the first race of the Crash GP. We've got Zam in third, who lost out right at the finish. Then Pasadena in second, and Norm, our race winner today. So congratulations to our race one winners. And here's the results for race number one. It's uh, CNK bosses doing the best today. They got 85 points. It's a pretty decent point haul indeed. On the other end, though, it's Team Cortex with just the 37. So looking at the team standings, CNK bosses in the lead ahead of Team Tag Team and the CTR bosses. We have Team Cortex currently sitting in last place. So at the end of the season, whoever is sitting in last, that team will miss out for the next season. And that means Team Bandicoot will be able to come back in for Season 2. So at the moment, Team Cortex in that danger zone. Still seven races to go, so plenty of time to get out of there. And finally, we have our individual championship. Norm getting the race win puts him in the lead ahead of Pasadena, Zam, Polar, Nash, and then Engine rounding out the All-Star 6. So at the end of the season, the top six racers, they will qualify for the All-Star GP. And they will represent Team Crash in the All-Star GP. So that's something to keep an eye out for as the race goes on and we get closer to the end of the season. But that will be it for today. So thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for race number two. Until then, have a good one.